Dawson Crane, who's a top Danish backgammon player, a professional gambler, and the organiser of the Denmark versus the World Tournament. Morton, can you tell me a bit about yourself? Yeah, well, I'm um, 30, let me see, 37 years old, and um, two kids, family, settled down a little bit, and I used to live in New York and travel around and play games, and now I'm do mostly just regular work. I started out playing backgammon back in the 93-94 and uh, I be that became my my what I did 94-95 I was became professional and I lived from that for like six years but throughout those years I played you know we moved to New York and was uh, hanging out in games clubs and I played uh, hearts and poker and various other games but my my main game was uh, backgammon but uh, then poker was taking over and uh, but these days I'm mostly into betting so you organized the Denmark versus the world tournament can you tell me how you came up with that idea um, well, this was actually an idea that I was puzzling in my mind for a while and first I was thinking of it like, uh, basically I wanted to have the live action online and my idea was also to have live betting on it. But uh, mainly I wanted to get high profile matches and to have them played live and people all around the world follow them live. I had that idea and then it just accidentally came up that, that they were having Denmark versus the world thing and I was asked to if I could help out gather the Danish team and um, to begin with it was supposed to be six nine point matches just six nine point matches and you know that was a good chance to sort of try that uh, format that I had in mind out so then I just staged everything you know I made the schedules and the rules and how to get the teams and stuff. So this is just a vague beginning of what I'm hoping to become a bigger thing. So the format, there's actually quite a lot of different backgammon formats that are going on throughout this tournament. Can you explain your reasoning behind choosing each of the formats? Well, um, basically, there's always a lot of talk about who's the best backgammon player and this and that. And then people are like, well, this guy doesn't play and this guy is best at money games and this is... So, so, so the reason is that, you know, there's a vast difference from playing, say, money games to match games. And uh, these days also, in recent years, the clock has been implemented and the clock is all over now and it's also very uh, spectator friendly with the clock. So uh, that's a new element, so that's why we also have a, a speed thing. So now you can, you can play speed gammon. All the matches are with clocks, so you are sort of limited. You, you cannot just sit and figure out everything in hours. So we, we have a speed thing and then we have a DMP, which is just one game, who again is totally different from all the other things. So the idea was that sort of try to um, try to get around and 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 and, and get a get a, a touch for all the skills and combine that and and that's how we were supposed to try and find the real champions of the world. <laughs> so so that was the idea. Now uh, we've been through almost all the players and it turns out that I think if you look on the performance, I think we are, have performed exactly even, I right. think. So, uh, so that predic prediction um, uh, sort of has come through and then I guess, uh, I guess it's, it's mainly uh, luck that we've been crushing them so far. Um, so that's, but that's backgammon, you know. I mean, uh, in the end, you're gonna have a winner. So uh, now it just happened to be us all the time, which is nice. What's the best thing about the North Cape? Well, I would say the best thing is um, the Danes. I mean, the best thing is that. Uh, now we have a tournament where probably half of all the players here are Danes and um, 
I mean, I've been traveling a lot and ga gambling and stuff, and I always been told from Americans and everybody sort of loves the Danes. They all they, they so, and it is a good atmosphere here, you know. And uh, it's like the people who come here is like they maybe see these fellow players like once a year, and that's at this tournament, and they go out, they drink all night, and they have fun. So I, I, I'd say that uh, that's that's uh, the the main thing about the tournament. Fantastic. Well. Best of luck in Denmark versus the world, and I hope it goes from strength to strength and we see a lot more of it in the future. Thank you.